Hi, baby. Hello. Hello. Want some nuts? Nope, Jazzy. You cannot hurt the squirrel. What is wrong with you? The day has arrived. White mango. Okay, hey everyone. So right now we are trying to find a bathroom because we gotta pee. Okay. We gotta pee. The internet so, really wants to know that. Yeah. So um, we're doing I'm sorry. that. You're sorry. We're doing Mom. that, and then we're gonna head to the park where everyone's meeting, and it should be really fun. and globalized animal killing, you are making this a march of awakening and of triumph. Triumph over hopelessness, over paralysis and complacency. The rise of the movement to close down all slaughterhouses, excuse me, to close down all slaughterhouses is political all the way down. It is the urgent and reasoned response to our global situation. There is no ethical, cruelty-free, or safe way to produce animal products, not safe for human or other animals. And therefore, <laughs> there is a simple and fundamental law that animal use harms humans. The meat and dairy and egg industries are cannibalistic, voracious in their destruction of all life, literally eating up the bodies and souls of the living. And this machinery of death draws ever more humans as well into this relentless vortex of destruction. In Canada, with less people than ever willing to participate in the killing, the Canadian Meat Council now admits to, and I quote, aggressively recruit help me. We need to help one another. <laughs> Sometimes when we're weak. The Canadian Meat Council now admits to, and I quote, aggressively recruiting Aboriginals, youth and refugees, which means serving in death factories. I feel I refuse to call this work because it is servitude. With the destruction of forests, millions of free-living animals as well are driven from their lands and killed, driving extinction and the suffering of individuals. Let's not forget each individual animal is suffering in this uh, uh, driven extinction of mammals, insects and birds. And yet the vast majority of animal victims, let's not forget, do not even have a chance to try and flee their fate. Most animal victims are still confined in death factories, barren cages surrounded by concrete and metal and darkness. And in light of all this, and in light of all this and even more, of course we don't have much time to discuss all these issues, there are still individuals claiming that what you consume and how you consume, what you eat, what you buy, what you wear, how you choose to deal with other species is a personal choice. I don't even know what that means. All our actions have consequences. And I'm standing here just hoping that the effects and the consequences of your initiatives and our initiative, initiatives will be positive. But still, I want to say this is also the era of a new global movement that dares to think for ourselves. 
Just this year, at least, new, uh, at least 50 new world cities have joined the march. And you all here today bear witness to our absolute refusal to give up on society's ability to exercise reason, to engage in public dialogue to express our political views and visions in creative ways, even and especially in this time of crisis. Those people who feel that they're not strong enough and who are not strong enough to be here today with us will join us in the future. Thank you. protest. I'm sweating like crazy. How are you feeling? Sweating. We're a little dehydrated. Um, so now That's we're... not enough. No, it's not enough. So we're on our way to Oviv, which is a vegan restaurant in Montreal. The best restaurant in the world. It was just really nice to just be around so many like-minded people. I had goosebumps the whole time. Did you like? Yeah. I literally had goosebumps the whole time. I felt that. It was so great. Well, anyway, I was like so involved and like yeah. feeding off each other's energy, and it was really like such so incredible. Yeah. No, it was really great. Yeah. Anyway, so we will show you what we'll get at um at Oviv when we get there. For dinner. For lunch, lunch dinner. slash dinner. <laughs> For dinner. Uh, so we'll see you later.